Tonight on Howard 101, join Big Black and King of All Black as they disagree about everything. Black on Black! Oh yeah! Black on Black! Black on Black is back. It's the unemployed security guard and the garbage man. Big Black, King of All Blacks. Black on Black. Hey, good to hear from you, Big Black. And uh, King, thank you, and uh, we'll see you guys on your own show. Black on Black! Black on Black. Call 888-STERN-101 on Howard 101. Welcome to Black on Black on Howard 101. This is Big Black here with... King of All Black. And we're doing a very special live show here at the Scott Farrell Studios. We're going to be on a special two-hour episode of Black on Black. Yeah, so let's have fun. Call in, man. Call us up. Hit us up. Yeah, the, the number to call is 888-STERN-101. And um, even though we're doing two hours, we're still getting paid at the one-hour rate. So, you know, <laughs> this is how they do it, nigga. <laughs> this is how they do it, nigga. Up in the Howard Stern Don't studio. Don't you say, nigga, please. Nigga. Just, just, yeah, no, go. Just so what you got to say about um, what happened with... um? That, that that horny French dude, man. No, first of all, you look very patriotic today. You oh, thank a, you. You got on a red, white, and blue shirt and black pants, same security pants. That's right. <laughs> you nice got and one shiny. Pair, you got one pair of those, or you got a lot of pairs? I mean, you have uh, numerous pairs. Oh, I got pair? I got twelve pairs of these. Oh, I was about to say, it must stink in the crotch if you have one pair because you had them on every show. You got the same pants. <laughs> you want to take a sniff? Oh, come on, man. You, you, you like sniffing down there on people, right? So what was you talking about with that uh that that, that horny French dude? I like to sniff women's ass, not not no fucking man. Oh, but I, I didn't know, man. Um yeah, I, I said, Oh, I just want to say something too. I have a uh um a upcoming singer coming in. Uh she's a a, a girl, an Albanian girl. Her name is Nina Lakage. Nina Lakage. Yeah. How would you fine. hear about her? She's fine. Um well, she got in touch with me. She got in touch with me through my email and the, and the friends, and she wanted to come get an interview. She's about, about to be on some radio, other radio stations, but she wants to come in and kick it with her. She's yeah, hot. What is this, like a, the black version of American Idol or some shit, man? Well, I mean, we're going we, to have a platform. I think it, with Black on Black, we should have a, a small segment, you know, small five five minutes of upcoming singers, rappers, you know what I'm saying, so they could get their shine on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, you know, I, how about we have, some, like, some real official people, not some people off the street and shit? No, I got I got official people. I got, I'm getting Cameron. I'm getting... It's, it's you getting Cameron? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you, people you, coming you, up you got, you, got, you got on contact with his people? Yeah. Yeah? I'm going to produce some motherfucker. <laughs> I know. Who well, do you I, think I'm just gonna sit there like you, you with your lazy motherfucking ass, dude? Man, but I don't get out the house. So I don't mind carrying you. I told you last week yeah, I, I carry garbage, so I carry you. Yeah, I, I ain't got, got no problem with that. But the problem is that um, this girl you got coming now. Did you know now, your shirt was red, white, and blue? No, I'm colorblind, so I can't even tell. <laughs> is it red, white, and blue? I thought it was gray and white, man. It's red, white, and blue. No, wow. it's red, white, and blue, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it red, white, and blue? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Wow, that's funny, man. <laughs> so let me ask something. How do you feel when Howard said that to you about like having that phony laugh, man? I, I don't know. Why would you bring that up? Because you just had another phony laugh just now. I don't laugh phony. But <laughs> we, let's let's just talk. Let's just stick to the topic here. That's my topic. And the topic bro. is you. No, yeah, the topic is your phony. Your phony. No, nah, seriously. Man. I was talking. No, no, seriously. In uh, another subject about that. Um, what's his name? Dominic uh, uh, Strauss Kahn. Strauss Kahn. One thing I do. I don't want to use the word admire, but I, no, I don't <laughs> yeah, admire don't him for nothing, to, but. but he's allegedly charged with a rape here in New York. But what I'm trying to say is his wife, his wife came up here from France, rented an apartment so he could get out on bail and live with her in the apartment. Now, that's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> My yeah. wife threatened to leave me if she found a phone number in my pocket. <laughs> Here, this motherfucker allegedly raped somebody, and his wife is still sticking by his side. Renting an he must either got a big dick or can eat some pussy or both. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Aren't you, isn't that something to be admired? Yeah, it's crazy. His his wife and his daughter, they both came up here for yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah, they're sticking by The him. whole family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, what is this? Yeah. And his wife seems to got some kind of a tan or something. She's like, like half black yeah, or some shit. Yeah, she's pretty good. She don't look as good as this girl coming in. 
That, I'm telling you, I know some radio shows, they say the girl is fine, so they, you know, so you think they fine. Then when you see the picture, you're like, that's an ugly bitch. But this girl coming in here, oh, my God. But, so let me ask you, do you think that guy should be uh, in jail for doing what he did? I want a pair of drawers. I'm going to ask the fuck. The new, the new chick? Oh, God. When, you get, when she get in here, I hope she don't get embarrassed because I'm going to ask her. But how about the, 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 um, the um, French dude? You really um, you look crazy today. What? You think I look crazy? Look at those damn sneakers you got on them. $200. Corny looking sneakers. $200 sneakers. Look at that shit, man. You, 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 you Spider-Man or some shit? I paid $300 for this jacket. I'm, I'm in a depression. You paid $300 for that jacket? Yeah. Man, they, Pell. they ripped you off again. Yo, you, that's five hundred dollars for that that piece of shit. Those sneakers and that that so jacket, five hundred dollars for that. Yeah, yeah, dude, man, you should tweet a picture of that shit, man. Ask people if that's worth two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, take a picture of these sneakers. What are those? Take a picture of his outfit and my outfit, and we can compare. What, what kind? Of, what, what's the, the brand? And by the way, she's coming up. In, she's coming in here, and I got this. I got the lap dance girls coming too. But what's that? That's what, those are Nikes. What Nike? What? What's uh, the brand? I mean, what's the uh, you know? Air Max, two thousand eleven. I got the old sevens, I got the old eights, Damn I got it. the old nines, I got the old tens. They saw you coming, bro. And I got the eleven. They saw you coming. What kind of sneakers you got in your closet? I don't wear sneakers, man. Bumpy I, nuts. I, I'm a businessman, man. <laughs> a what? I'm a businessman. I don't have. I don't fuck with sneakers, man. When I come out, I do business, man. What kind of business did you do? Look at me. No, you no, like, no, no. Don't get off. Come on, me. man. You're 46 years old. You still wearing sneakers at, outside, man? I got shoes. Man? I got clocks at home. Every I got time you shoes, come here, you got sneakers nigga. on, though. Well, because I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm, I, I take. I gotta you gotta take the subway. You make fun of me having a backpack, and I'm, I'm almost 50. You got sneakers on every yeah, damn day. Is your, what kind of backpack is that? Ain't North Face. That's some bullshit backpack. <laughs> you is crazy. All right, man. North Face backpack. What, what's the deal some with your jacket? Call the motherfuckers. <laughs> nah, I'm huh? Yeah, we surrounded, right? Today. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I see you shaved your knuckles. You took my advice. Nah. You I'm ain't never... got no hair on your knuckles today. No, nah, I'm still there. You just can't see it. Oh, what kind like of jacket little, you got? What's, what's the name of the jacket? Pelly Pell. Pelly Pell. Pelly Pell? Yeah, Pell Pell. Man, why would you pay $300 for that piece of shit? Why not? What? Why not? Because it, you, you only need to pay like 50 bucks for a jacket. You don't need to pay like 300 You just want to show off and, and you, say that you paid that money. I, I ain't showing off nothing. It's not about showing off. Why would you say something about something? It's always like you showing off. Because you just bragged to me. Oh, I paid $300 for this jacket. Yo, you want you need some sunglasses? Because you keep looking at my ring, you're going to go blind. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Okay, what's the deal with your ring? That's your wedding ring? Nah, man. Yo, I swear to God, man. So, what's up, man? D does your wife know you're coming here tonight with yeah, that, that singer? Yeah, yeah, she know. Has your wife seen the picture of her? Yeah. She, I ain't she no don't punk. care? I'm not no punk. You ain't no punk. You're going to see I ain't no punk. She listening to the radio, and she's going to listen to me interview this How chick. come your wife was screaming on you the other day when, I call, when you called me, man? <laughs> Did I hang up? You told me, I mean, I can't talk to you now. I got to go. <laughs> yeah, because she was bugging, man. She was on some bullshit, man. She was graduating. She was graduating from Bergen Community College in Jersey. I said, it's just ain't Harvard. <laughs> she was like, we got to get there. We got to get there. For what? <laughs> Everybody that was called, I mean, no, congratulations, baby. I really am proud of you. But in all, you know, I'm telling you the truth. When they were saying the names off, you know, when that when the guy with the robes and shit said his names off, every, I couldn't even pronounce these names. I said, yo. Well, everybody's like a foreign person. Yeah. <laughs> and they ask you what kind of flag you want when you go up there, like from different countries. I mean, it's a community college. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has their own flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what kind of, what kind of college is this? It's like no Americans at this college. Huh? <laughs> Everybody's got like a, oh, a Puerto Rican, hey, yeah, Ecuadorian. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing where she differs than you. She works. Uh, okay. What college did you graduate from? Uh, Washington University in St. Louis. That's a good school. You don't even know what that school is, man. <laughs> Where's that school? Where, what state is it in? You don't even know, man. You said that's a good school. <laughs> says, oh, no, I think it's in St. Louis. Oh, okay. You heard me when I talked to Howard about it. You no, I just know. heard you say St. Louis. About two seconds ago. I didn't say St. Louis. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yo, let's get some phone calls. Let's get it popping. Well, first of all, I want to announce to all my, uh, my, my peeps out there. I hate that, when that, you talk black. I don't like it. I really don't. My peeps, man. I don't um, like it. King like sneakers it. and his um, corny ass shirt and jacket. Or oh, not the jacket, but just the shirt. Or, or, Do you or like Twitter, the jacket? At Stern Show. Hold it up so I can see it. You just, I didn't see like the, the corny ass corner. Of it. It's a white jacket. I bought yeah, it today. Yeah, that's not worth three hundred dollars though. What's what? That's a. If I bought in, if I bought in my mink jacket and the dead winter, you would say it's not worth seven thousand. No, a mink jacket. For. That's different, you know. 
I can understand the difference, but um, let's see. We can take some. You gonna get a lap dance? But, um, you gonna get a lap dance tonight? Uh, I don't know, man. Huh? Might be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. What your girl might get mad? Yeah, my, my hand might get your jealous. Your man might get mad. <laughs> no, my right hand. Might oh, get yo, jealous. listen, listen, seriously. No, all jokes aside, before you take a phone call, so this all this no this no bull. This not uh this ain't no bullshit. Saturday, what are you doing Saturday? This is all jokes aside. Cause I'm having a party. I really want to invite you to the party. Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> nah. I can, I can smell I'm a joke joking. coming. Nah, it ain't no joke. You know what? what I'm doing? I'm doing nothing. I'm going to be in my house just my sitting down and watching TV. Nah, my daughter's having a birthday party. And, and, and my wife said you was a nice person when you interviewed her. So I invite you over to the house. Is how, that cool? How would I get there? I don't know. I'll come get you. But you got to be there. You know, you got to be there about 5 o'clock. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, you, you could come? I doubt Cause it, man. Because we, we, we need oh, a clown. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even want to hear it. I knew it was a joke coming. <laughs> we yeah, need yeah, a yeah. clown. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We I need got a you. black clown. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> seriously, seriously, right? Yeah, I knew you oh, I, I My set, daughter man. be like, oh, thank you, Daddy. You brought, you, a, you clown. brought a clown. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> man. See, man, there you go with that phony laugh again. Go ahead. Um, oh, come on, man. Stop biting on how it's shit, nigga. Let's go to, be your own man. Right. Let's go to John in Ohio. What's up, guys? How you doing? How you doing, bro? What's, What's up? up? Doing good, doing good. Hey, quick question for you. King, I know you've already got it together, man, so this really doesn't apply to you, but tomorrow, apparently, the world's going to come to an end. Big Black, are you going to go get laid for once in your life? Tomorrow? Before the world comes to an end? Or no, what are we going to do, man? Well, I don't think I have enough time. I need I need about a month or so to get get that together. <laughs> what was you doing for the last ten years? I'm I'm you know I'm getting to that point, man. I'm just I need like another month, man, to get that pussy, huh? Yeah, just being on the radio now, you know, because before I was just in my house alone. Oh, you need to be on the radio to get pussy. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, sorry about that. But the world's going to come to an end, so who knows, man? Oh yeah, I want to take some calls. Uh, um. Uh, soon, I'm going to take some calls on the, uh, what are you going to do since the world is going to end tomorrow? I'm talking about drug wise. What is the best drug out there? You know what I'm saying? I got my number one drug, but I'm not going to reveal that till we take some phone calls. I don't want to hear about how clean y'all are now and what you used to do. I'm talking about real drugs. People that getting high tonight, nigga. <laughs> getting their popping oxycotton. You know what I mean? So Archie fucking uh, uh, heroin. Who, uh, who's Archie Cotton? Oxycotton, oxycodone, Percocet. You know what I'm saying? If you take Dude. Percocet and drink vodka with that shit, nigga, I want you to call up here. 188 Stern 101 101. Call us up and tell us the <laughs> best drugs. What, what have you been smoking, man? You sound, you've been smoking something. No, I just want to know. Have you ever got high before? Sure. I used to get high all sure, the time. Sure, sure. What'd you do? Hey, come on with that bullshit. Huh? Hey, let's go. Um, Did you ever get high before? No. No. Did you ever get high before? Yeah. What'd you do? What did I do? Uh, I got a drug. I got the best drug. Pot, man. Pot. Huh? Oh, yeah. You cool, man. Cocaine. Acid. Oh, you, you ain't shit, nigga. Angel dust. You ain't. <laughs> that was a big Jersey thing back in the day. Go ahead. Take some phone calls, man. Prelude's. I could All talk right. forever. All right. Let's go um, to um, Al in Long Island. What's up, Al? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? All right, all right. Man. What's up, Playboy? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you uh, hate hey, King. Yeah, what's up? King, at what, at what age did you realize you were into this foot fetish thing that you were into, man? It was about, like, I was about nine years old. I was about yeah. nine years old, and my, my aunt had slept over, and she had on some, like, some high heels. And I was just, I was looking at him and I felt like, you know, you, you know, your dick start rising up, getting hard. Your my aunt? Shit, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't, you know, I didn't care when I was nine, you know. When I was nine, my model was incest's best. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I'm not, I'm serious. When I was nine and I was just looking at her shoes and I felt my shit getting hard and ever since then. I've embraced it though. I thought about this during this week and I've embraced this foot feathers. I don't give a fuck. That's some weird shit, man. Or, your aunt? I don't care. We're going to have a pretty feet contest over here on the Black on Black show, too. Nah, well, you can do that on your own, man. I ain't interested in that shit. You ain't interested in nothing about that. I have nothing to do with girls. Well, not feet, man. How about pussy? You ain't into that, neither? A pre the pretty pussy contest? You like that? 
Nah, how about oh! Oh shit! How about just boobs or? How about ass? if I bring some guys in there with big dicks? <laughs> Would you like that? Now you're talking. <laughs> Are you gonna come out in Pharrell Studio? <laughs> nah. But, uh, Why couldn't you wait till we in our studio to come out? <laughs> now you're talking. Uh, what, what don't else play do you want to talk me, about? Man, don't play with me. I swear to God, don't fucking play with me. Damn. I'll knock you out of this motherfucker. <laughs> now, this, your veins are popping out of your forehead, like bro. I don't like that. I you joking. Are you, jo- are you joking? Am I joking? About are you what? joking? Am I joking about what? I, yo, man, you making me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Seriously, you making me feel uncomfortable. Why? Your lips are getting white. I don't know why. Why? What? Yo, take some phone calls, <laughs> Oh, this guy's making me want to throw up. Where's Marianne so I can get a boner? <laughs> right, let's go to Ernie from Texas. What's up, Ernie? Hey, how's it going, man? You guys are some funny-ass black dudes, man. You guys are the funniest thing on Sirius Satellite Radio. I'm oh, saying, man. shit. Damn, my uh, dick got hard. <laughs> hey, hey, don't listen to Howard, man. You're, that last man, I would be laughing if I was sitting next to him, too, like that. Hey, listen. I, would, I have a question, though. I have a question. How many, Big Black, how many times have you had sex? And how come you don't get a hooker before you die, before tomorrow? Just get a little hooker. You know, put on two, three condoms, whatever, man. But get some pussy before you die tomorrow. Como estas, mi amigo? I don't know if you just noticed, but he came out here on the radio. How many times have you had sex, though? You haven't said, though. How Uno. many times? Uno veces. Pero, King of all blacks, man. Do you know he's only had sex with one girl like 20 years ago? Like yo. for half a sec? He just went in for one the second and came out? Yo, he never, he, he never. A virgin. Basically. You're not a virgin. No, you? no. I mean, you know, one time, that's, you know. That's, you just, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, motherfucker. Put this shit in reverse. Hey, what's this up? motherfucker in reverse, nickel. Nickel. You, you, you only had sex one time in your whole life? What? Well, maybe. Wait a minute, when do we go to break, man? Gonna... Yeah, for you, <laughs> I'm breaking that. Isn't it about break time yet? Man? Yo, you gotta be the fucking horniest. You, you better not stay in the hotel, cause you might rape somebody. <laughs> We're here on um black on black on. I wonder if a, I wonder Stern. when a girl. I wonder if a girl gets. Oh yeah, next up we got Liana, Lacage. She's a sexy. She's a sexy vixen. Albanian. Albanian chick. Back on Howard 101. Come on. This is Black on Black with Big Black and the King of All Blacks. Call 888 Stern 101. Black on Black. Oh, yeah. Black on Black. On Howard 101. Start talking. Hey, we're back with Black on Black on Howard 101. <laughs> this nigga said, stop talking. <laughs> no, I said, start talking. And uh, <laughs> believe it or not, we have a, actually a special guest here. We have a recording artist that, that no, came on, brought in. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I brought it in. I produced it. Yeah, this but movie. I'm starting the, the, the off the segments, bro. Yeah, well, no, All right, man. You, 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 be get, you sit right next to a dam. And you you want to monopolize the whole damn thing? I don't know. Maybe I should introduce myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah go, go ahead. Introduce yourself. I like that. No, when go. y'all see this girl, y'all going, oh my God. The name is Lena LaCage. I am from New Jersey. I just wanted to. Oh, from New Jersey? Too? Yeah, I'm a Jersey yeah. girl. So when so. did you, when did you uh, know that you could sing? When did you know that? I actually thought I could sing my whole life until people started telling me, you know, go get some voice lessons, Lee, if you're going to walk around singing all the time. You yeah, you are. I mean, you I know, know you, how to do it, so. I know, you, I know you hear this a lot. I know you hear this a lot, but you are very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. And that has to, you, you. you need that in the music <laughs> business. You do. Hey, King. It, how about we like you know, like introduce what's going on here? You just like starting to talk like she's someone who's been here before. Like well, let's listen, let's uh, ease into it, you know. He gonna teach me how to do this shit. That's but, right. I'm trying to help you out, bro. Listen, she's an uh, upcoming artist, right? Yes. yes. How'd you get? How'd you find out about her? How did I find out about her? I found out through associates. I mean, what's she doing here? She just came off the he street. He knows some people. Yeah. Who knows Make some people? Who robbed some people? <laughs> <laughs> No, man. Oh, who dude. robbed some people? Damn. <laughs> oh, my. No, that's God. just from a movie. <laughs> Yo, you make me want to throw away my wedding ring, baby. <laughs> you got a boyfriend? 
How does it work? Dude, is this an work? interview or a date, man? What no, I'm doing? not. I'm just asking questions. I'm asking questions. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Come <Seriously>. on, man. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. I'm saying, uh, are you in a relationship? Because it, it, it has to do with the music business, you know, because, you know, I mean, you know. <laughs> no, I am not in a relationship. Oh, so you're single. Mm-hmm. I am single, and um, I take my music very seriously. The, so yeah, as much as it is fun, and I try to be very, you know, upbeat about it, and it is what I love to do, I do take it seriously. So it consumes a lot, a lot of my time, so... Yeah. So the track that we heard, you were rapping. So do you rap as much as you sing? I do both. I love to do both. Um, now, I have to admit, when I heard you rapping, I thought yes. you was like from the black neighborhood. Did you like learn that from other black people or you just happened to have that naturally <laughs> or how did that oh, work? You got to see these teeth. I actually. <laughs> Dude, she's here about her music. Can you at least talk Come about on. the music a little all right, bit? All right. All right. I think I was very influenced um, into rap music. Um, I am also not white i'm not black i'm kind of in the gray area so i well, do you? have a lot of cultural people around me and i do have you yeah, know yeah, like you said, what, what do you mean by you're, you're in the gray area what does that mean you're not white you're not black i can kind of do both i'm privileged if that i mean your race anything. your race my race i am from syria and lebanon Oh, man. I mean, yes. are you mixed with anybody who's black in your family, or it's just that you grew up in a black neighborhood? No, I just consider being ethnic um, not white. That's not necessarily white. You didn't grow so. up in a black neighborhood. This guy wants you to, like, you grew up in a black neighborhood. You just was influenced by yeah. artists, like, you know, black artists. And don't, you know, I'm, I'm not giving you advice because I'm not in the music business. Um, Hip-hop in general. Yeah. Hip-hop in general. Yeah, um, if you, if, the, if a black rapper? tag comes along with that, then. My favorite rapper, let's see. Um, that one's easy. My favorite rapper. I actually have two favorite rappers. Um, both of them are friends of mine and they've been customers of mine for a long time. And, um, customers. Yeah. Uh-oh. They know, you know, they know can my be, family. Can from, I become uh, a customer? You know, in the fashion industry, I did fashion for a while that oh, catered okay. to people in the music business. So I'd have to oh, say. We got on G. We both got on True. Religion. Yeah. We ragging them True. The triple stick, right. baby. I see. Yo, let's see what kind of jeans this nigga got on. What oh, okay, got, yeah, yeah. Yo, look at his pants. I got on double nick, okay? <laughs> them shits, them shits look like... <laughs> you know what's horrible, though? Now they look I like can... nylon no, leather. Yeah. All right, you know what's yeah. horrible, though? I I just walk around and I randomly just stare at people's asses all the time. And they are like, stop staring. And I'm like, I just not even realizing I'm doing it. I'm just checking what kind of jeans you have on. Yeah. That's all I'm doing, you know? So How much did you pay for yours? Mmm... I pay a lot of hardworking hours that I spend in that store, you know. So oh, okay. it's actually like I ran one. the store. It's a family ran business, so you Miss know. Something. Can you can you do some scales now? Like me 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 me. Can you do I can do do re mi fa sol la ti da. Oh, that's you nice. Know, oh, I can. Beautiful. You know, I try to. Can you do any like a freestyle singing or anything like that? Can you? Sure, I can freestyle and I can sing. I can do both. So yeah, you know, can you, I like, could sing Christina demonst- Aguilera. Oh yeah, know. that would be good. Can you demonstrate something like that? Sure. Well, do you need backing tracks or you? Um, I can do it. I'll do oh. it. I can well, we'll raw, get something going. You know. We'll get something popping. I'm running the board. <laughs> Every day <laughs> is so wonderful. Oh, yes. And suddenly oh, I saw the breeze. Now and then. I get insecure from all the pain. I'm so ashamed. I am beautiful no matter what they say. Words can't bring me down. No, 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 no. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Yes, words can't bring me down. No, oh, don't you bring me down. Today. Uh, <laughs> hey, anything around you can't be down. <laughs> <laughs> so let me give uh, let me give yeah. our, our credits. Uh, her name is Leanna. How does she sound? How does she oh, sound? Great. Oh, so oh, goddamn like a robot, nigga. Yes. No, How does I, she sound? 
She Seriously, was, she was pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he don't like girls. But no, listen, dude, but, I'm trying uh-oh. to give her some credit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Can you just let I me mean, do? come on, man. All right, if you want to see her Facebook account, you go to Lena um, LaCage. If you have a Facebook, just search Lena LaCage. That's L-E-E-N-A-L-E-C-A-G-E. And yep. you can keep up with me on my Twitter. I'm new to Twitter, <laughs> so you could follow me at Lena LaCage. L-E-E-N-A. L-E-E-N-A. L E C A G E. What is your, what is, when you, when you're dating, when you're dating, who, what, <laughs> is there, are, are there any preferences to, like, you know, what kind of man do you like? What kind of, like, what qualities can you get with Lena uh, in a man? <clears throat> um, like, what's the first thing you look at? What he looks like. <laughs> yeah. That's the first thing I see, uh, what somebody looks like, obviously. So they have to be attractive. Yeah. I kind of have to go like, ooh. Um, But definitely, I think. Do they have to to be working? Like, do they have to be, you know, I mean, like. Well, if if I see them, then they, you know, most likely be in my circle. So I'd assume that they were. It depends also how they, how they move, how they, how they are. Um, Definitely personality traits. uh, Cool. So you, cool people, cool, calm. Do you, have you ever dated a black guy? Damn, it's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> can never get no break. <laughs> she said she's in that gray area, I mean, but when it comes to dating, you know, ain't into it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you ain't into it. You ain't into it. She don't want to like come clean on that one, huh? My uh, alienate part of your audience. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> but, I mean, you never dated one, but uh, I mean, you wouldn't be opposed to it if if the right you know right uh, black dude came around, right? I mean, what is it about them that turn you off? It must be something that turns you off because I see the look on your face. That turns me off. I wouldn't say it turns me off. Oh, well, absolutely. So you in so it, it's it's cool if the right guy come. Um, you could be black, white, purple, or gray. Gotcha. If me and you have something together, you know. Gotcha. If y'all yeah. seeing eye to eye. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, do you have any videos on YouTube? Um, I actually have some <laughs> pictures up. I don't have any videos on YouTube yet. Have you done any um, music videos yet? No, no. I'm actually, you know, I've I made some songs with my friends, and uh, I'm still, you know, trying to get out there. And I'm definitely putting in a lot of legwork right now. So. So King told me that you were thinking about getting, uh, you were going to have a recording contract pretty soon. Have you have interest um, from my I have, I have a couple interests on the table. Um, I have, you know, Atlantic and Universal and, um, I am not, I have not signed anything yet. Um, I'm kind of having a great time kind of doing the Lena LaCage Inc. thing right now. And, uh, you know, just being a little bit self-made, getting out there before I jump into anything real quick. And I'm also learning a lot about myself too. So before I, close myself off to one type of music um developing and i'm i'm learning that you know i can sing and i can do this and i can do well, all types of things so if i could give you some advice because i listen to music i'm not in the music business but i just yeah. listen to a lot of music mm-hmm. stay in that in that r&b hip-hop well that's where it a, all started i mean that music started with the blues you know yeah, what but, i mean and, uh, um, christina aguilera yeah. all of these artists yeah. uh, uh started off in that genre then they went off to some other fucking place where i don't know where they went you i mean this is my yeah advice. that's ego world <laughs> you know it becomes it becomes like you could be you could i feel like if you like music then you like music um like when i listen to rap it just makes me feel like you know cab calloway created rap he did the scatting the you yeah, know, yeah. minis I have got now, you know, yeah. so. You know what that is? Then from Mini there, the Hoocher, yeah. Yeah, yeah mini. So it be, after that, it becomes. He likes the Beatles. They put the words in and it became rap. <laughs> you put me down because I like who the Beatles. Who doesn't like the Beatles? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> oh, see, no, John Lennon. Down. Down. I'm saying he likes the Beatles. I'm saying he's getting on in our conversation. No, I know what you mean. It's that, it's that Your time conversation, era. I this is the Black on Black show, man. <laughs> no, I didn't know. I'm not alienating you. I'm just saying you. No, you trying to put me down. No, I'm not. You like he likes the Beatles. Is he attractive? Like, come on. <laughs> he looks crazy. Don't look at his nose. And he just just look at oh, just okay, act like his right. nose is not there. Just go ahead, go ahead. Look. I'm no. your type, right? Stop it. Hell no. <laughs> you make your you make your pussy dry. <laughs> look at this motherfucker. Uh-uh. No disrespect. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, man. The, 
Yo, when you, no, are you sorry you came here? No, are no. you sorry you came here, right? Absolutely not. No, no. absolutely right. not. Yeah, it was just you and his. This guy's too sorry. rude, man. That, that's not nice, man. What? Being so X-rated, she's a nice young lady here. He, yo, man. <laughs> I think I could. You know, I'm good. I'm yeah. cool. So. Okay. So let me ask you something. If, if, if I had to say you look like somebody famous, me, I would say you look a lot better. I think looking like someone doesn't make you shit. It is Uh-oh. up to you. No, no, no. I'm saying someone. I'm, looking I'm, like I'm someone explaining doesn't make for the audience. I'm explaining yeah. for the audience if they want to know oh, how to give them look. a visual. Yeah, you look like uh, uh, way <laughs> finer than her. But a Go Kim ahead. Kardashian. You get that a lot? Some people say that? Hi, I'm a singer. I sing. Let's stay in the singing zone. No, no, if, you're, saying, if you're gonna compare me to somebody, no, then no, not compare me I'm to a, a singer. You no, know? no, but it's no, no. how you look though, your yeah, face. I'm about the way you um, look. I think a lot I get I've gotten that for a very, very no, right. long time. Um I used to get Jennifer Lopez, then became Kim Kardashian, so I'm going back to the J Lo thing I and I you. like that a little better. So you could tell me I look like J Lo all day long and I'll take but it. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but somebody telling you look like Jennifer J-Lo. Lopez is is disrespectful, baby. <laughs> Oh man! Shit, you could tie a younger, Lopez a in younger the version compared to you, that old bitch. Ow! <laughs> you young and tender. Dude, what is this, man? Is this you know, make a nigga want to bend. Her? <laughs> no, 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 what man, the fuck this is, is some <laughs> bullshit, man. What are we doing here? No, no, no. I'm just saying. No, I'm, I'm having a good time. Yeah, I mean, thank you. I, that means I look good. So. Yeah. You want to take yeah. some phone calls? Maybe, maybe people got questions for you. Sure. Oh, let's go, Definitely. Let's go to uh, um, Matt in Montreal and be respectful, of my woman. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just I always love to say that. I just want to say it's really inspiring to hear deaf people sing on the radio. That was really, really impressive for a deaf woman like that to come oh. out. Of <laughs> oh gosh, oh, man. That was really amazing. No, but, but uh, oh, I thank you. Man, everybody's get off the phone, man. Everybody's a comedian. Like everybody's a comedian. Go ahead, Matt. Go ahead, Matt. One more question. One more question. If it goes that way, we ain't taking on my phone calls for. Lena. Yeah, he asked to be on the show at all. Have you, have you guys heard from him? Who? Angry Black. Has he called in, like, wanting to be part of Black on Black? No, uh-huh. you got to be black to be black, part of Black on Black. Like, <laughs> King, King, don't you think this is driving him nuts that you have a successful black radio show and Angry Black is completely not a part of it on Howard Stern? And I don't know how it makes him feel, but I know it makes me feel good. <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker. Let him keep climbing poles. <laughs> Would you let him come in and intern on Black and Black? No, we want our interns milky white. <laughs> oh my god! We want everybody around us white so we can get shit done. <laughs> All right, let's go to another caller. Let's go to um, Bill in South Jersey. What's up, Bill? What's up, Bill? What's up, guys? South Jersey. What up, Playboy? Yeah, we gotta get you out of there. What's up there? The sticks. <laughs> How can we help you, Bill? How you doing? Hey, I'm looking at uh, Lena's uh, Twitter page, man. You are smoking, honey. Yeah, she is smoking. God damn, you gotta see. You gotta see. I mean, no disrespect, but you gotta see her. See her what? Uh, you about to say? Her that. I mean, you could got shit all day. You got some milk, boy. Really? Wow. I haven't seen that. And she sings good. She looks um, good. You could find pictures on Facebook if you just, you know, search Lena LaCage. I have some pictures up on there. I got there. a question for you, though, Lena. Go ahead. When you were uh, selling clothes to um, to the hip hop people, uh huh, did you ever sell any shirts? They looked like that same fake black wear. <laughs> oh wow! Another <laughs> comedian, man. Everybody's so funny on the show, yeah, man. Yeah. It's amazing. No, this shirt is not good, right? That's not a good. Shirt. Is there anything wrong with this? It's just like it's a clean. You're clean button down. <laughs> that ain't no um, button down. Is, is something wrong with right. this? I mean, well, give me some fashion advice. You worked in a store. He took that shit out the dryer and just put it on. That nigga ain't behind that shit. <laughs> so what would you have to say about the style of this shirt? <laughs> what would you like to say about this? Maybe one of these ribs at the picnic. Come on, and blow firecrackers in Fourth of July. Wow, man! Oh no, I gotta go. I'm just playing. So what, I want to ask her. You worked uh, in a store. We, what can you say? We did a lot of. Uh, we sold actually a lot of button down. You tell me, how, like, if you see a lot of these artists, um, <laughs> no, I'm asking, what are you saying about my shirt? What, when you see it, what, <laughs> what do you think? Say? Is that bad, huh? You can't, even, she's <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't want to say nothing, huh? It's classic. It's a button down. It's Everybody, a thank you. Down. It's classic. It's hey, classic. Listen, Walmart you. wouldn't be in business if some people didn't shop there. You know what I'm saying? So think of yourself as keeping Walmart in business. You know what I'm saying? Hey, think about it. Shit. If it wasn't for people like you, they could come, they go in there to, with a hundred dollars and come out with bags full of clothes. <laughs> I didn't never went to, to Walmart in my life, man. 
What about Tarjay? I went to Conway, Tarjay? though. Conway. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, best God. store in New York City, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Ox in Chicago. What's up, Ox? Yeah, Oxy Cotton. Yeah, what up? What up, man? What up? Um, hey, uh, King of All Blacks. Fuck Howard Stern, man. You ain't doing no fucking fake laugh, man. Nah, that no, motherfucker's just. Well, well, that motherfucker's just hating because because he, you know, you get some attention on the black on black show. You know what I'm saying? And this motherfucker's always hating on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Whenever they come up, that motherfucker's always start hating on them. Well, I ain't going to. I ain't going to. I ain't going to. I'll let you say that. I'm not going to. I can't go. Well, tell, hey, tell him. What do you oh, think man, about you, yourself hey, compared hey, to Howard? Oh. Huh? I was the man. How about you, though? Are you coming I'm up? I'm the man, too. Yeah. Like, I'm smart as hell. I got to turn my brain down to come in this motherfucker. No shit. shit. At least to talk to you, I gotta turn my brain down. Yeah, okay. And Lean, I wanted to know yes. what's so. Oh, she's taking off her jacket. It's a little hot in here. <laughs> oh God, isn't it's it? About time they turn the heat up on here. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Let's Damn. Go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, let this nigga finish the show. We get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna throw my wedding ring away. So, so uh, Lena, have you ever been interviewed in any other radio shows before? Uh, radio shows, no. No, this is mm-hmm. your first one. Indeed, you guys are my first. Oh man, <laughs> damn! Boy. You make a motherfucker. So if I was going with you and you broke up with me, I'd probably kill myself and kill you oh too. My <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I come to your job on, with some flowers and a gun. <laughs> Dude, man, you bitch, bah! You are rude, man. <laughs> Which one of your songs you want to play while we go um, to a break? Because they nice. All um, of them are good. Thank you. I actually want to get some feedback on one song because I'm getting a lot. I created it, you know, for just to have a good time. It was just an idea and a concept, you know, that I had. And um, a lot of people are getting upset over this song, you know, and it's not what I expected. I thought that they would be like, oh, damn. Was it sexual? Yeah, it's, cool. um, it's a bit controversial, I guess. Um, I expected a lot of the guys to like it, but the guys are a little bit like, whoa. And, uh, you know, it just I'm kind of like. I want to know more about what people feel about this one song. So, and it does show the singing and the rap in one track. <laughs> What's the name of the track? Um, it's called about. Side Chick. Oh, side yeah, Chick. Yes. Yeah, side yeah, Chick. That's my favorite type. The side Chick. You ain't no Side Chick. Don't ever let nobody make you no Side Chick. Listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. Look at that. She got that ghetto accent. <laughs> Never let him know My pride comes before pain I never let it show I just let it go And why me I like that shit I'm married dude I'm living for another Yo, one Yo, bump that shit, age, nigga I'm the last on the stage Holla Rocking all night Too late to stop now I'm flying hell and back I never touch down I don't really care Who you trying to impress I never be the girl You hey. get inside of a dress I don't gotta pay bills, I don't gotta do this. Right oh man, come on, look at that way, look that way. You side chick, you gotta look right. He keeps his wife on the side, she trying to cut right. I love him, I agree with him, never be just keeping him, even if that mean I can never really be with him. Who's this side chick? You know that you love her, keep her on the side while you hope down another. Never really right. loved you, loved you, and you, you write this? Right. You can never uh-huh. ever ever make me say, bro. It was a collaboration of people you know writing and um, three ideas from my journal. <laughs> Never really loved you, loved you anyway, but you can never ever, ever make me say, bruh. Aside from a side chick, you know I do the fashion, uh-huh. the shit that I'm wearing, got everybody. Oh, you got some person on it. Talking verses. I be talking verses. He said, I'm talking like Nicki Minaj a little bit. All you bitches worthless. I be taking trips, taking him out to eat. He don't give me shit, my independent chicks. Don't let him get to you, but if you keep loving him, you just need to get a clue. Lena in a beamer, he be in a Benz, understand what I'm saying? Well, um, Lena Lakaj, we'd like to thank you for coming into the Black on Black show on Howard 101. Thank you for having me. Anybody wants to see Lena, go to our Facebook page. Are we pronouncing that right? Lena Lakaj. L-E-E-N-A. It's Lakaj, but, you know, Lakaj, we're familiar with it from, you know. Oh, you had a store. Yes. Yes. It's all coming back here. Oh my God! Yeah. It was L E E N A L E C A G E on Facebook and Twitter. Yes. And um, oh this is our first real artist here, and this is our first interview. So I hope it's not our last. We're gonna be bringing people up here, trying to get it popping. Yeah. Boy, you got something. Look on you. 
you don't go, you don't go places, baby. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. We'll be right back here on Howard 101. What's up? We're back, black on black on Howard 101. Man, that girl was something else, man. Hey, what you think of um her whole pre- presentation? Her presentation was good. Her music was good. And um, just excuse me for a second, because she sat here for like 10 minutes. So that was, I, that was I, closer to 20. Excuse me. For, oh, 20? Oh, man, excuse me. I'm going to smell a seat real quick. Would you? Crazy motherfucker. I don't believe it. You're really doing that shit, too. Oh, my God. Sniff it, sniff oh. it good, mother. <laughs> you getting a contact or some oh, shit? Man, I smell something. I think she fought it. <laughs> nah, nah, no. I know it smelled good. Oh, my God. I wish he did fart. How and she was only like twenty two, huh? I forgot to ask her, does she make lemonade? What do you mean by that? Another corny joke? No, I, I smell a joke. You know what I mean? Lemonade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, let me do my impression of Biggie before we go on. No. I'm rapping through dirt. <laughs> And we're gonna be taking a lot of calls this segment because um No, we need some calls, man, because people are trying to get with us, man. Yeah, definitely. Uh let's go to Leroy in Fort Lauderdale. What's up, Leroy? Hey, what's up, Mark? What's going on, man? Listen, how that bitch titties? They they nice or what? Oh my god, I think they was like a nice C. I think they were nice. Oh my god! Real firm, man. They almost look like like implants. And you know, I don't lie on these microphones, man. She was fucking fine. She was all right. Man, she, with her with her singing career, man, she better come down here and work in Club Ebony. Give me a lap dance and muscle. Oh up. my that god! Sing. Ooh, if she gave me a lap dance, nigga, my whole side of my right leg would be wet. Yeah, let us sing a little rap shit that she's. Fucking had it on my bone, man. I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to peel, I'll have to peel off my underwear because this shit's to be stuck to my leg. <laughs> is she like a white light skin or or, or dark? No. Nigga, where was it? Light skin? No, nah, no. Nah, she was like a. She's from Syria, so she had like a yellow, like a like a. She was like a tan. No, nah, like, she looked like a white person, man. She said she's nah, not white. She, she had a little white dark. She had a little color to her. Nah, she's she, she wasn't any darker than Kim Kardashian. I'm she, not going to take your advice on how girls look. I'm not. I'm really. I'm, like I'm going to refuse that. Dude, she was not any darker than Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian look pink on the bottom like the other ladies, nigga ladies, and what? What happened? No, no, no. I'm saying, look, you got to look at her feet. If they're pink on the bottom, oh. she's <laughs> Yo, she was so fine, I forgot to ask her to look at her feet. I forgot. Damn. I'm down here working at the club, man. Nah, she ain't. I don't think she's like that. I don't no, think she's, she's like gonna that. she's going to be like that in about another year, getting rejected with that shit-ass music. She's going to be sucking. <laughs> 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 nah, that music wasn't that bad. <laughs> That's not nice. When she was singing live, she wasn't on, um, in tune that much, bro. I got 40. I got 40 for her. No, right. Yeah, okay, man. No, Leroy, you're good. You're good. You're way too horny, Leroy. Let's... That's L.A., man. She can fit right in, man. I got some nice work for her. All right, all right man. Leroy, all right. Pills, Let's go to, um, Come on, man. Let's go to Sean and Mastic. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Leroy. Fuck Tootsie and fuck you too, Leroy. Yeah, get the fuck off the phone, man. All right, let's go to Sean and Mastic. What's up, Sean? Hey, what's going on, fellas? What's up, baby? I just want to let you guys know I'm a uh, big fan already. Um, I was a little skeptical at first, but it worked, man. You came around. Yeah, doing your thing, man. You came, you, you <laughs> you came around to the dark side. <laughs> yeah, and I mean dark. This motherfucker black as hell. <laughs> yeah, let me ask you a question. What kind of, what, are you still wearing the same pants again? Yes. The same oh, no. fucking pants. He looks crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> he looks, and he got caramel glasses. This shit's look like butterscotch. <laughs> Some old welfare glasses? Yeah, the prison joints. When you be in jail and shit, they give you glasses and shit and hope that your vision is just to them shits. <laughs> when, he put them, when he puts them shits on, it look like he wearing fucking goggles. <laughs> is that really that funny? Uh, okay. keep, keep up the good work, man. Yo, when he wear them right, glasses, thanks, when he wear them glasses, it look like he's looking through ice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Mark in Boston. What up, what a boy? What up, Mark? Oh man, King, this is a great show, man. Yo, man, I'm having a good time. This is man. great. Oh, great this show. Yo, we're gonna me. get drunk after the show. What you doing, man? The end of the world is tomorrow, nigga. You ain't got no cocaine, nigga. What's up? Oh, me, man? You talking to me? No, whoever, man. Talk, let's talk, baby. 
<laughs> oh, Let's man, get I, it popping. <laughs> I just knock next door. I got what I need in my building, man. Yo, put a little Coke in a cigarette and smoke the cigarette. They call it a coolie. <laughs> oh, my God. What, what are you talking yo, man, about? Dennis, Dennis Rodman got a show, man, making, like, uh, geeks into players, right? So I was wondering, I mean. How would he, he know about that? Uh, I don't know if he know about it. He knows about being a player. Dennis Rodman? Yeah. He's a player? You don't think? Oh yeah, yeah. He played on the basketball team. Yeah, he is a basketball player. <laughs> I don't know if he's a player with women and all that shit. Oh yeah, yeah, big time, big time. But anyway, I mean, do you think it's possible? I mean, I don't, I don't think so. But do you think it's possible that uh, you could, you could help out Big Black at all? I could do help him. Yeah, well, I mean, well, he, he obviously needs some help, but I mean... Well, if you listen to the show about, uh, I don't know, half hour ago, he said that he don't, he don't, he not into pussy. He just like, you know what I'm saying? He's not into well, it. Help him either way. I mean, the brother obviously can't dress. You know you can help him there, right? Well, he going to get it. If, they, if these girls come down like they supposed to come down, I, I'm getting a lap dance. If he refuses to get a lap dance, we all know the deal after that. He's fucking gay. If you don't get a lap, I'm married and I'm getting a lap dance. He's right. single and he's going to refuse. What do you say he is? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, uh, uh, tell him, Mark. Yeah, I, all right, man. Uh, you, 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 you batting for the other team, man. All yeah, right. Fuck you. You offer. You offer. <laughs> let's, let's go to uh, Nikki in Massachusetts. What's up, Nikki? Black. How you doing, ma'am? Mm. Yeah, I wanted to How can ask I help you? you guys. Finally. Oh, can Oh, oh. Can you let her talk, like man? Selena girl on the air. I know, I'm horny. Wait, wait. wait. Can't oh you let her God. talk, man. All right, go ahead, go ahead. All right, what, what's, what's wrong with having um, Lena on the air? What was wrong? Oh, you guys were, like, complimenting her on her singing with that Christina Aguilera song and her straight garbage. Nah, don't, don't, don't hate. Don't, I mean, I'm not, don't, How don't. How is that hating? Oh, man. Well, you're right. She was she was kind of pitchy when she was singing live. Oh, this <laughs> nigga, you know he's going to say that shit. But when she, the tracks though she had were pretty good though. I thought her produced songs were good. Let me tell you something. So maybe she needs auto tune or something to help her like get on in tune. You know. Let me tell you something. The way she look in this business, music business, she don't have to know how to sing. You do Beyonce That's don't true, know how though. to sing. Come on, baby. That's true. I wanted to ask you one last thing. Could you do your rapping Biggie impression? Oh come on! Oh, I don't I'm rapping through the casket and the dirt. <laughs> Nikki, that's really funny to you. <laughs> yes, it's hilarious. That's hey, Nikki. Oh my god! Can you give us some phone sex? Uh, no. Look at you. Now with those security pants on. I uh, know, yo. His dick will get hard. Them shits will get tight. Them shit is baggy <laughs> as hell. They look like, <laughs> and he got on the Santa Claus belt. Like what? Are those... He looked like a, the buckle looked like a Santa Claus buckle. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, so, so what are you doing tonight? Are you watching the game? Uh, no, I'm not gonna watch the game. What are you doing? I gotta head to work soon. What are you wearing now? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm wearing a shirt. Man, I'm horn. A t-shirt? Yes. And any bra under it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like when you gross. do it. When you say it, it comes out. I know. Crazy. This is whack. Any bra, any panties on? <laughs> Ew, oh, panties. <laughs> <laughs> or do you have a, a, a oh. You know what kind of panties I like? I like those uh, those boxing jaw pants. Like, they look like, you know what I'm saying? Boy shorts. Oh, God. <laughs> and when they riding up in the ass part... <laughs> And a little stain. Oh, God. When you go you have to a little work, yo, you know what I would do when you go to work? I'll sneak in your apartment and go in your hamper <laughs> and turn it to hamper man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Nikki, um, oh, what are your measurements? What am I what? Measurements. I don't measure myself. What kind of bra do you wear? Oh, my God. No, nah, seriously, what size, man? Damn, we almost finished. We horny. Hey, you're not helping us, though. I'm going to have to hang up on you then. Nah, don't hang up on me. Please do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got a girl saying to hang up, boy. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Do. Goodbye, don't Nikki. Do. Have a nice night. Thank you, darling. All right, let's tell everyone, don't forget that Riley Martin is, is live next at 10 p.m. We got one more hour left on the Black on Black show. Let's go to Danny in L.A. What's up, Danny? 
Hey, what's up? I'm kidding. Keep my back and Big, Big Black. How you doing, man, brother? All right. All right. Hey, uh, Big Black. If you come down to LA, I'll get you there, bro. Uh, there's a couple, like, Asian partners over here for 80 bucks. 80 bucks? Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, not bad. Bad, this bro, nigga. bad. What kind of... What kind of... Right, bro. I'll get you there. I got my man. My man is on the line. We're going to go to him after the break. He he was in prison for about 15 years, and he wants to tell us. His name is Grand Chill. I'm going to give show him some love on the phone. Is that all right with you? No, it's okay. But I thought we was going to like give him like a real spotlight on the next episode, man. We can give him like extra time. And shit. Today, we're going to have those girls coming in. It's going to be kind of short. But, you know, we'll, we'll, figure, to him. we'll figure it all out. Yeah. All right, let's go to another call. Try to figure you out. <laughs> let's go to Scott in Jersey. What's up, Playboy? New Jerusalem, what's up? What's up there, King? What's up there, 50 year old Urkel? <laughs> <laughs> man, all the calls on this show are like so funny, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm the roll off driver from the la uh, last show you had on. Why'd you want me to call you the N word? What's up with that? What N word? You don't remember last show you kept trying to get me to call you the N word? Say it. Yeah, man, that ain't my thing. But why are you doing that? What's up with that? For some reason, the way you, you were talking, it sounded like you would never would want to say it. So I want to see if I can get you nah, to say it. I, the way I was talking. Yeah. The way you're talking uh, now, you, you, you're afraid to say it. Afraid to say it? He's why not afraid I to say it. He just don't want it. It's not in his but repertoire. I want, you to tell, I want you to call me nigger. Why is that? What's up with that? No, this dude. I don't know. It just it will sound, sound funny to me to have you say it. Sounds funny, huh? Man, no, he's it, it, actually jerking off. <laughs> Why he wants a, a, a white guy to call a nigger so he can jerk off? <laughs> Jeez, he can't jerk off he would, if he even took like five Viagras. I think he's asexual, King. Viagra's not good because once you eat, it goes away. Like if, if Viagra, if you take a Viagra and you eat something, it's, it it dissipates. Well, that picture Ooh, on dissipates. Twitter That's there, a pretty good word like there. Yeah. All the time. Wow, he's like a smart. white man tonight. <laughs> Just like a white man. I was tired last week. That's what a tired man sounds like from work, you know. Well, man, if you're not going to say it, just take your tired ass to bed, yeah. motherfucker. You know, <laughs> I'm waiting for my old lady to get home from the strip club, and then I'm going to hit it and go to bed. You well, got a girl that, oh, man, that's fucked up. Yeah, man, she's a stripper three times a night. Three times a week, I mean, I'm sorry. Damn. She take the money you back home to you, though, huh? Shit? Huh? She takes huh? the money back home to you, so that's good. Yeah, man, I'm a I'm the roll off driver you was talking to last time there, King. Yeah, would you let your wife do that? Your girl do that? Yeah, she's very, very trustworthy. I don't let my wife go to the store without me, without my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't play that shit, bitch. That was, Where you yeah. going? I just go into the store. Well, look, well, don't don't open the door until you confer with me. You feel me? Yeah, you're <laughs> talking bullshit now. Nah, I've been married seven years to her, man, and she's like uh, too very, bad. very honest, very right. trustworthy girl. I don't have to sweat well, her. You're not going to call me a nigger. I don't want to hear nothing else, man. What, are you getting all worked up or what? Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for <laughs> calling again. All right, later, King. All right, peace, man. Let's go to um, Tony. Ain't no drug story. Ain't nobody taking no drugs. Yeah, because that's a it's stupid Friday topic. It's Friday night. It's a stupid topic, man. The fuck? Let's go to Tony in Toronto. What's up, man? What's going on, brother? How are you? Pretty good. You probably vu Francais. I gotta just say, honestly, King, you're the fucking man. When you call in a bus on Ronnie, it fucking makes the whole day, dude. You are the fucking Oh, man. Ronnie, I Ronnie, know. Ronnie the limo driver. Yes, sir. You are the fucking <laughs> man. I just want to ask you one thing, bro. What do you drive? A 740? No, no, no. I had an Infinity truck. I didn't, I don't have a car right now. I got a, I got a project that I'm doing. I got a, uh, yeah, I got a, I mean, I got a 2011 Honda, my wife, and then we get, I'm getting a new car soon, though. I'm, I think I'm gonna get the new 5 Series. You the, told me two weeks ago you had a, a Jaguar and shit, man. No, nah, no, nah, nah, motherfucker, man. Come on, man. I'm gonna tweet pictures of my car. Don't worry about that. You gonna tweet pictures of your car? Well, I told you I don't have a car. How about the apartment? You got an apartment, right? Yeah. You gonna put uh, put no, that on Twitter? Nah. Huh? But, but what about your Jaguar? No, you no, you got a Jaguar, no, no, bro. No, no, no. Well, it's old now. It's 2010. Did, does it work? You said you don't have a car now. Listen, listen. Do you have a car or not? Yes. Yes. You just said, I don't I'm have a car. I'm trading it in. I'm trading it in for the five man, series. Oh, shit, man. What the fuck is you talking about? I wanna see your, I wanna see your apartment on Twitter. Don't I put my house it. on Twitter. I put, I put pieces of my house on Twitter. Congratulations, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want a piece of fried chicken for that? Sure. <laughs> you just had fried chicken. I know. I should have saved you a piece. You bro. ate a three piece. <laughs> That's <laughs> Look, why is that funny? A three piece of chicken. That's funny. Why would you come in and eat chicken? 
<laughs> you, why yeah. you asked me for some chicken ass? I didn't ask you for that. I'm on a diet. I lost a lot of weight, brother. And you need to lose weight, too. You're getting fat. Yeah, coming down doing this show. <laughs> I'm going broke doing this show for it. They pulled your pain because I ain't got no dime yet. I ain't seen dime one. I'm going to say they're going to pay it. Yeah, we, we put the paperwork in. You're going to be getting that money soon. Yeah, we Oh, shit. Yeah, they did say that. <laughs> What's this guy named Jim McClure? Yeah, him. Oh, fucking kill that guy. Dude, man, I'm going broke doing this show. Supposed to be making money, not like spending all my fucking money. Yo, and, uh, um, well, we could segment, um, segue into, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I do want to say something about him. If we got time, you want to go to commercial? Well, I don't know. When's the breaks? All right. No, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I, I'm not defending him what he did. <laughs> oh, oh. But I'm telling you, his, that lady is not attractive at all, but she can, she can give Maria Shriver some lessons on how, because that motherfucker. How? How, how to, to, to keep her man interested. That motherfucker loved her. Believe me. He loved that maid. That bitch was like she had a face transplant, man. What, what was her deal, man? She's not attractive. She's not attractive. People say, yo, but that's t- 10 years ago. She might have. I seen that. She wasn't attractive 15 years ago. But that ain't the point. How pussy. And she's Spanish too. They do shit, I'm telling you. What well, do you think she's doing with, with him, Arnold? What, what, what's she doing? She might have been putting her tongue up his ass. She might have did everything that, you know what I'm saying? Because Maria Shriver is a Kennedy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, see, I'm not doing, I'm not sucking your dick. I'm a Kennedy. I ain't, I'm definitely <laughs> ain't gonna swallow that comb. You know, that, that's how, she, that's how the conversation probably went in their bedroom. But her, she's like, I do anything for you, Arnold. I do anything for you, Arnold. <laughs> We should have your wife call in and pretend to be that, that maid. That would be funny, man. Oh, you call my cause because she's Spanish? No, my she, you know, that's, no, no, but the, you know, to play the Spanish part with that Spanish no, you're accent. Very, you're very disrespectful. Man, get out of here. I'm just saying, somebody, we need somebody with a Spanish accent. I'm going to fuck play my that. wife in the ass when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting I'm the world horny, know. I'm man. That girl got me horny. She wasn't that hot, man. <laughs> What if she would have left her panties with us? We would have had a fucking field day. No, you At least I would have. Yeah. You would have refused. <laughs> I was like, you want to smell those? No. So on a 10-point scale, what would you give her? 10. No, i say she's an 8. That bitch was fine. That bitch was fine. Believe me. Ain't got no more calls up there. Let's go to another chick, man. Yeah, Stacy yeah, yeah. from Oregon. Give her some phone sex. Fucking why? What? How you doing, Stacy? Good. This Hello, is Big my Black chocolate delight. You want some chocolate? Um, wait, wait, that's not like a man. Hold on, hold on. No, that's not a little man. <laughs> oh, I can't oh. do that. I'm too old for the phone sex thing, guys. But How old what? are you? Oh, well, almost 50. You still get your period? So am I. Oh, yeah. You still get your period? <laughs> I'm, I'm I, eat pussy. I eat pussy when the girls on their period. Oh, I, try, oh, I act like I'm Jason. Oh, <laughs> don't talk about that, man. On Friday the 13th? Hey. Uh, uh-huh. Friday the 13th, you talking about? Yeah, like you just put blood all in your mouth. That shit is good. Oh. Man, you are stupid. That's man. called red Thanks, stripes, guys. nigga. Now, come on. All right, go I, ahead, go I, ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Ho- good. I'm holding it together, all right. I mean, That's I, good. I got I got the youngins asking if I'm in my thirties. There you go. Oh, there you go. The youngins. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, question for you. You guys have two hours tonight, and Riley only has one. Have you heard from him? No, he has no, two. He got two hours tonight. From this, t- 10 p.m. to mi- to midnight. This is Black oh, Friday. Yeah. Okay. yeah oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. All the niggas got, on it. got bonus. But uh, it seems like you guys are getting a lot more attention on the show. So I'm just wondering if Riley's having a little uh, a little upheaval about well, that. Well, that's that's, that's black on black. Let me tell you something. Black people, okay. I mean, I'm not going to stereotype, but when, when a black person becomes successful, there's always other black people say, oh, man, fuck that nigga. So how do you yeah, how do you know why that happens? How do you happens. compare our show to Riley's show? Which show do you like better? Um, I'm 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 digging yours more actually. Because <laughs> you hear the same old thing with Riley, and I love Riley to death. And maybe it's because I'm on the West Coast, and then he's on, and I got to teach a spin class on Wednesday morning, so I have to go to bed early and all that crap. And I try to listen to his replays and all that stuff when I can catch it. But uh, you guys are fun. I mean, uh, I love how you guys just play off each other, and um, I hope you guys get a regular show at least once a week. And nope. you know, I love Riley too, but you guys are you're more of a chocolate delight to me. Yeah, so. You don't have to oh, love him. You could just love. I don't like my woman loving more than one man. Just love me. No, oh, no, I, no, I love y'all. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. All right, you guys. Have a good night. You too as well. 
All right, let's go to Jim in Illinois. What's up, Jim? What's up? Hey, hold on. First of all, oh. hey, this is Duba83. Oh, that's my... Yo, B, for real? I, I started getting excited when I heard your name. That's my man right here. This is, this is a good dude right here. This is a good dude. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good dude, man. Thanks for the support, man. You're a good dude, hey. man. I got to take what's you out up? to eat one Respect night. To you. I'm going to take... Yeah, exactly. We're we going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. You know how we probably message each other, man. We good. We good. Absolutely. Absolutely. We gonna get it and, popped. you know, and, and, and Big Black, I can come out there because I got a job, okay? I can take time off from a, a job. <laughs> All right? He don't like the work. Look at him. He love, he's you can proud. come out to do what? What, what do you want to do? <laughs> I can do anything I want to do because I got a job. He don't like the work. You used to see a look what, on his face. What's the point of this call? I, you got a job. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, you got I a job. <laughs> yeah, got what are you mad at? Boy, he got a job. Yeah, but well, he was I, in the army. Wasn't you in the navy or the army or something? No, I, I'm retired from the army, brother. I'm retired from the army. Yeah, but you, thanks for your services to our country. He got on a patriotic shirt. He got on a red, no. white, and blue shirt, and we have a veteran on the phone. No, that's not. That's that's my arm. That's a tattoo. No, that's no, not arm. you, not you. Big black has on a, has on a red, white, and blue shirt. He looks crazy. Damn, that must be a big ass shirt. He look. It looked like a smock. <laughs> Hey, does it got a matching pillowcase for that bed sheet or what? <laughs> All right. Thanks for the call, got, man. He got some big nah, ass I styles, too. Yet. I not man. done yet. Hey, I'm sorry. I got to pay Hold some up. bills, man. Hear that music uh, coming? Yo, Duba, you I my man. Deals with no job. Hang on. Hang on for a second. <laughs> yo, Duba. That's a good one. Yo, what's up? You my man, man. We're going to be talking, man. We're going to chop it up. All I'm going right. to take up the roof, Chris. On me, nigga. All right. So we're going to be back to Black on Black on Howard 101. Holla. <laughs> This is Black on Black with Big Black and the King of All Blacks. Call 888-STERN-101. Black on Black. Oh, yeah. Black on Black. On Howard 101. Black on Black is back with Big Black and the King of All Blacks. Call 888-STERN-101. On Howard 101. Yeah. Yeah. And we're back to Black on Black, Black on Black on Howard 101, and we got a very special guest here. The guy who's coming on after us, Riley Martin, is coming on at 10 p.m. Eastern on Howard 101. What's up, Riley? Hey, hi guys, how you doing, man? What's up, baby? Uh, not too much, uh, Big Black, and, uh, my man. Uh, What's my name? Uh, wow, well, what's his name? King of all black. No, the king. Oh, yeah. that's right. The king and the big black. Yeah, yeah. yeah forgive me, gentlemen. I, I, you know, I got caught off balance there. I'm more important the, than him. Yeah, yeah, double O just, uh, just, you know, just rolled in and, uh, hooked me right up, put the shit on me and, uh, say, hey, talk. You know? And so I say, hey, it's glad, to, I'm glad you guys got a show. You know, as, uh, one of my good friends, Donald Trump says, I've always got along well with the blacks. <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm so I'm so glad he's getting investigated. You heard about that? Oh Jesus Christ! So Riley, you have any advice about how it is to have a show here on Howard 101? Uh, Howard? Oh, you mean about Howard? No, himself? about no, your show. About having a show on Howard 101 yeah, channel? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, otherwise, you guys, uh, uh, I'm just getting tuned in to you because you know your your recent addition, nonetheless. Uh, they should have good talent all the time. Well, give us and some it should tips. Not, yeah, it should not be restricted to uh, simply, uh, you know, just his buddies and, and whatever. Uh, it should be uh, talented people like you guys. Now, do you think, do you think, uh, uh, because we get $1,000 a piece for the show, mm -hmm. do you think mm -hmm. that's a good uh, a good <laughs> price for us to get? Well, hey, gentlemen, I wish you got 10000 a show and all that. However, unfortunately... I get like uh, a bag of potatoes <laughs> and three fucking dollars. You know what I mean? I like uh, my birthday was a few days ago, and Double O, to his credit, he bought a nice little cake that Tim had sent. And I think he had to talk Tim out of sending a half a watermelon <laughs> and, and, and two uh, brand new pickled pig feet or some kind of shit like that. And Who's then Double one, O? Uh, the Al Al Ragon, the big Al Ragon. He's uh, my technician, a oh. marvelous young man. Yeah. And so when I talked to Tim the other day and all that, and uh, I said, Tim, uh, uh, what what about the uh, you know the watermelon and pig feet? Uh, you, you bastard. And uh, <laughs> he said, he said, 
Now you know, Riley, I've always got along well with the blacks. <laughs> well, you well you must you must. I mean, listen, you saying you getting a, a sack of potatoes and pig? No, up. all I hate I mean, gentlemen. I'm, it ain't nothing like no thousand dollars. I can tell you. No, that. no, but I, what I'm saying is you must like something about it if you stay here and you're not getting well, paid what you want. It must be well, something good well, about it. The, the ranking, it must be something fulfilling. Yeah, the rank and file. The rank and the rank and file of uh. Who said that in the background? Uh, uh that was Iran. Uh, the rank and file uh, of uh, Howard, a beautiful young, lovely people, highly intelligent, very professional, and all of that. Uh, and so there's a lot of love there. Now, what do you think about Howard personally? Well, okay, personally, Howard, be honest, be honest. Okay, okay, Howard is a man that I've always loved uh, to not be forced to kick his fucking ass every time I laid <laughs> eyes on him. Uh, however, however, he did give me an opportunity to do a show, and I believe that I, and I'm certain that I have information to give to the people of the world, and this is a way to do it. Now, if they started, say, Black Knight every Friday night, then I could live, gentlemen. But I cannot, I cannot make it on one hour per week at what they're paying me. You see what I mean? Uh, but other than that, you know what I mean. I'm not. Uh, hey, I got uh, big love for all of them, man. Well, how's the um? um well, let me ask you a question. Do you get a W two form? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I get a earning statement or what have you. But uh, but uh, it's like my job is not classified as a job. Oh, so you still get a W nine then? I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, like, how do you uh, know so much about this? He don't even work. He know about W nine. <laughs> well, this mean, nigga don't right. even work. He talking about yeah, you get a W nine, W two. What the well, fuck he, you talking about? <laughs> yeah, they still, he, let me ask him a question, Riley, real quick. Okay, okay. Uh, um, um, Big Black, do they still put the um like you get food stamps or or you nah. or you don't get that? Because I want to know they put on a credit card now. You still get the kind of tail off. I don't. I'm just asking, but you don't get it. So. I get my unemployment on the credit card though. Yeah. And you was telling me you pay how much for your phone bill a month? Uh, ten dollars. <laughs> ten. Hey, but, but, hey, hey, Riley, hey, I need to talk to you, kid, about that. No, uh, you hey, don't. Hey, Riley, <laughs> me ask a question. We've been, we've been working here two months, and it still haven't given us one damn dime. H have you gotten any money? Oh uh, well, my uh, gentleman, I get a stipend for each one hour show. How long does it take you to get the check? Uh, well, I mean, it comes what twice a month, I suppose. Oh, so they're pretty. Once you get in the system, then it's pretty. Yeah, regular. once you're in the system, they get regular. And what have you? And uh, do you hey, think do you think that they treat you that way because of your race or your color because you're black or or it's because because I guess you're super. I mean, you're talented. So do you think it's because you're black that that's why they treat you like that? Ah, uh, well, they treat me like this because they can. But is it because they, you're black? Uh, yeah, yeah, and well, because they can. And I why you say they can? I, I said uh, why simply because uh, uh, to get a public forum. I have to stand for this stipend. Now, if I got a better offer somewhere, you know what I mean? Otherwise, I would drive a truck uh, full of dynamite into the goddamn building. <laughs> you know, you see what I'm talking about. Well, would you, are you shopping your show around to other places? Well, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just well, asking. Well, it's, uh, I, this is a big entity. Serious satellite radio and XM. It's, it's, a big, it's, it's a big entity. You meet a lot. You 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 run into a lot of people. Now there are a lot of smaller entities that, oh, even on occasion, I have donated a show or so to them, but they don't have the buccarinis to sustain uh, the type of show that they need to, and all of this. Sirius has these resources. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. since I've been there over four and a half years, I would have thought that by this time. Uh, since I am an asset to this company and I want them to succeed, that they would have at one time or the other gave me a fucking buck or two more. Well, let me tell you something. When you, when you're at a, a company, at a job. Yeah. And you are working at that job for a number of years mm -hmm. and you're not satisfied with the treatment of that job. When you stay at that job, then that job feels that they can disrespect you. you well, well, yeah, so well, well, if, if certainly that is so. Nonetheless, when you live in an economy where you're lucky to have any kind of a job in a way, however, it is true. I could, if I got a pink slip today, gentlemen, 
uh, with my like health condition and my age and all of that. How old are you? Uh, I'm 65. Oh, you uh, sound pretty good. Well, thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah. You married? I, yeah, I'm married. How and, long have you been married? Uh, oh, well, to this your lovely lady, about 12 years. Oh, so yeah. you were married before? Yeah, I was married before. And what happened? Uh, well, my goodness. Were well, you writing uh, a book? Yeah, 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 right, right. No, I'm uh, just asking. I'm just curious yeah, yeah, on why, right, people, right. why people break up. I'm, I've yeah. always been curious of that. Well, you know, I don't what know why, why they break up and then turn around and make up. Oh, you so, know, oh, so. I just can't see. Stylistics, huh? <laughs> I mean, was it your fault or was it her fault or? No, it's, well, it's, it's like, Both I, of am, us I am, I am friends, uh, close friends with all of my kids and all of my ex-wives. Oh, okay. They still love me. Uh, my present wife has met them and everything else. So we, we get along well. I mean, you know. How many uh, kids do you have? I have three kids. Oh, okay. How yeah. many? Big Black don't have no kids. Yeah, yeah, well, he can have two of mine. <laughs> you know what's funny? With, with, with them big heads. <laughs> them yeah, big right. heads? But yeah, he, with a big old head. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we're trying to work this out. We're trying to make some money on the show. We know you got a good show. We like it, your show. Well, I like you. I you know, like we're trying to move show. up. We just started. We're getting 1,000 each. Hopefully, by like next month, we move up to like 1,500. Well, gentlemen, I, will, I wish you could get a million each every time. I, I, I begrudge you nothing. And I wish you <laughs> Hey, listen, you this will. ain't working, right? This, 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 a thousand dollars a week bullshit ain't working, right? <laughs> <laughs> Big right, Black right. is trying no, to no, get you I'm, mad. No, no, I'm just kind of carrying on. I, I, know, I, I am know. trying to, uh, you know what I mean, talk nice to my dear brother. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right now, this wrinkle head motherfucker. Yeah, you can he, see this big he, head if motherfucker. If he slipped down, the bullshit would go over his head. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, hey, Riley, go, I'm trying to. He don't even lie yeah, good. Right. Hey, Riley. Uh, so tonight, are you going to talk about the difference between your well, what's going to happen tomorrow and what, what your um, aliens are telling you? And yeah, what's uh, going to all of that tonight? I, I, well, no doubt, people are going to ask me about that gentleman, and right. I'll I'll give them uh, the information uh, that I have. Nonetheless, try to realize that the information that I hold is based upon uh, bullshit. Geolo- <laughs> no, no. Well, just, well, I'm you can playing. say bullshit. I'm just playing. Geological uh, data, weather data. You understand movement of the planets and things of that nature, and not so much upon, uh, say, religious fervor or anything of that nature. And so, it's a different thing altogether. But yes, someone will probably ask about it. Okay. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Well, we'll, sure. we'll stay tuned. You're going to be on from 10 to 12 tonight. Yeah, 10 to 12 tonight. All and right. uh, if they did, the gentlemen, if they had us on every week. It would be very cool. It would be very cool. You yeah. know what I mean? And look, it's been nice talking to you guys. Yes. Yeah, well, thanks nice. for checking yeah. in with us. Sure, sure, sure. Take care, and I wish you well, gentlemen. All right. Well, holla at Thank you. you. Peace. That's cool. That Some something. crossover, huh? <laughs> yeah. Crossover promotion. That guy's angry. Yeah, I guess that thousand dollars didn't work. No, see the you, white man trying to convince right. me. You don't lie, right? You just you kept saying and I, saying. I kept listening so to the white man. They told me to do it, man. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. All right, now let's go down to some other callers though. Let's go to Bo in West Virginia. What's up, Bo? What's going on? What's, What's up, Playboy? Man, I had to pull over. I was laughing so damn hard. At what part? Woo! Shoot. All of Look, it. Look, man. What's that? What, what part did you like? Every damn bit, man. Look, you got to do me a favor. Big Black, do me a favor. Yeah? You got to say something for me. Say, what you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Dynamite. We got some. We... <laughs> you want to hear some more? Uh, yeah, that's, you know what? That's who you look like. Jay, uh, um, uh, Jim, uh, what's his name? Gary from? Coleman? No, no from nah. Good Times. What you talking about, Willis? Jimmy Walker. You look like Jimmy Walker with the medication weight. Like when he gained weight, like now, you <laughs> look like Jimmy Walker. Yeah. All you right, man. Like Jimmy Walker. Well, I'm glad you like the show, Bo. Anything else you got to say? Uh, woo, yeah. Look, man. <laughs> Damn, what are you smoking? That's what I'm talking about. You look like you sound you getting fucked up. You Man. drinking and driving? Hell no. Remember them good days when you could drink and drive and shit? Shit. I'm delusional, man. I'm working right now. Working? What are you doing? Yeah. I'm a home stock nurse. Oh, you ain't got to worry about that tomorrow. It's all over, baby. We all going to be dead. 
Thank God. <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here. I hope this shit happens. I hope the world right comes back. to an end tomorrow. Well, Come on. I hope not. Black has got a lot to live I got my man. So much to give. All right, well, thanks for calling, man. We Hopefully we'll be around. If not, it's all over. But thanks for calling, bro. Yo, I got my man Grand Chill on the line. This is a good friend of mine. He's been, uh, he was in prison for about 15 years and, uh, he's out and doing things with his life. And, uh, uh, you know, he wants to share with us. What's up, Grand Chill? Yo, yo, yo. What's up, King of All Blacks and Big Black? What's going on? Yo, yo, yo. yo. How y'all doing, man? All right, all right. Pretty good. Love is love, man. You know, I'm just calling to stop in, you know, to just talk to y'all brothers a little bit about me, you know? Yeah, yeah, man. I'm one, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm way into it. I, I watch all of those, uh, 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 prison shows. Not that that's all you about, but I mean, doing 15 years, that's a long time. And I, I would, just want to correct you. It's, it's 10 years. It was okay. from 1994 to 2004. Okay. 10 years. What were you yeah. in for? Uh, for, uh, distribution. You know, we'll just leave it at that distribution. <laughs> <laughs> distribution. You don't want to get too deep into that. You know, I got you. I was always, I was always interested in how, how do you do, how do you do, we're going to get to what you're doing now, but how do you do 10 years in, in prison? How do Basically, you do it? I mean, you know, you, you do it, you know, one day at a time. You know, it's just like being here, you know, being home, being on the street, but you, you're in there. You're worth, you're away from your loved ones. And you're doing your time, you know, as you see fit. Some people is in the yard, you know, working out. Some people is getting high. Some people is messing with faggots. Some people is gambling. Some people is, you know, doing yeah. everything. That's what goes on in prison, you know? So, so like, sex-wise, sex-wise, how does this work? Because, I, listen, I can't go three days without, without some pussy. So how does it, how do we do, like, I'm locked up for 10 years. What do I do? sexually to get it to get it popping what i mean, I mean besides that hormone you know besides <laughs> the gay acts and all that shit i'm talking about exactly. what do yeah. i do with straight not this dude next to me yeah don't try to put me that into shit. that but 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 i'm not but, into that shit we talking about the last uh, week, you know i'm saying what do i do what do i do i mean, I mean what i mean basically what you do, I mean, what a real man does, masturbates, he survives, right? you know what I mean? I mean, he continues, you know, he, it goes mentally. You have mm -hmm. to really put those thoughts, those sexual thoughts that we desire all the time on the street, want to fuck and want to get on today, we leave that alone, man. And we basically, you know, the real men that are there, you know, we, we, we pursue other women that's there, like the counselors, the food service ladies. Oh, uh, you know, oh you got shit. The CEO, the you know, I mean, for real inmates and convicts this is what we do you know what i mean so you guys sex with the with the people that serve the food i mean the reality is i mean when the opportunity presents itself you know how it is and no doubt. you go a woman a woman has to choose a man you can't do anything without one of the women choosing you you know oh, what yeah, i mean that's right because you can't be rapping to them and shit like that because exactly. it's not you ain't out that's here Lord. i got you flirtation but but exactly. king told me you that know? if he was in he would t like a, a nice little spanish guy Help him out. Oh, really? No, come on, man. Come on, come on. Hey, yeah, last you know, week you, you said that. You know that. Listen, I said, listen, my question, this is my, it was a serious question. I yeah, mean, people question? people like to laugh it off and all that shit. I'm saying, that. I'm saying, if you in prison for life, exactly. no exactly. parole, you no not parole. getting out. Not getting out. What? Then the reality is, you know what it is? Go ahead. Then prison becomes my world. And the reality is just as well as I'm in society, then I pursue the women as though we're, I'm in society because the prison becomes my society. So the reality is for those that come there and go to work, they go home. But for me, I'm there forever until I pass. So the reality is they become my reality. And that's what I do. I pursue the women that work there at the prison, any prison throughout the United States. That's what real men do. That's what players do. How Thank many, you. how you many, know, how many, survive. how many prisons right. did you, were you in during these, this, this time? Or you just was in well, one? You know, well, basically I had four cases in four different states. I started in New York, left from New York, went to Jersey, from Jersey to Cincinnati, from Cincinnati Damn. to Virginia. I finished in Virginia, in Jarrett, Virginia, where they do the execution at. Damn, this dude was on tour and shit, man. Was it? Was it scary? Is it? I mean, I, you know, I know we men. Are the, is it yeah, scary no, moments? I mean, yeah, like that first night what? you were in there. The first night, what? Big black, talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying the first night you were in there and you and you you knew this is it. How did you feel? 
I mean, you know, how did I feel? I mean, just basically mentally I felt, you know, miserable just knowing that I was away from my loved ones, you know. But basically I, I had to do what I had to do, which was survive and get back out to society. Did any guys, like, try to, like, you know, come up, come on you and approach you or whatever sexually? No, nah, I mean, the type of individual, if you saw me, I mean, you can look at me and tell the ones, you know, people know the ones they can choose. Yeah, you throw off that, that vibe. Can. Like, they, that person would throw you off that I mean? vibe that they could do that. Like, like they, they could send softness on you. Exactly. I'm not saying I'm a killer. Yeah. I'm this, that, and the other, but I carry myself as a man wherever I go. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I don't do a whole lot of socializing, and I keep my circle very sin. You know, now, let me that's tell you how I survive. You know, I stayed to myself. I worked out. I wrote down stuff, you know, and that's basically it. You know, day in day, my mother came to visit me from time to time. She gave me the spiritual strength that I needed to, you know, to make it till I got home. All right. Now, let me tell you something. I was an extra on Oz. Is, is, is prison um, anything like Oz? Is it like Oz? Yeah, the TV show. I mean, yeah, no question. I mean, you you know... I mean, certain areas, you got a little bit of everything in prison. I mean, it's all what you're looking for. Drugs, I mean, violence. I mean, you know, it is what it is. You know, alcohol, drugs, cocaine, crack, <laughs> marijuana, whatever it is you want. It's just like being in the street, except for you're inside. If I do a robbery, if I do a robbery or drugs, with, with, and, I, and I got a partner and I get locked up, I'm ratting. You ratting? <laughs> yeah, damn right. I ain't going to jail. <laughs> but how would the guys... How would the guys rape somebody? Like they say, "Oh, this guy's soft. I'm going to rape him." Or would they like get him in the uh, uh, bathroom sh shower yeah. or whatever? Or nah, I mean, it all depends on where you. A lot of times they get him in them blind spots. You know, you got a lot of spots in prison called blind spots. But a lot of times, situations like those, guys put themselves in. You know, Man. you know what I mean by it? when I say guys put themselves in those situations. Like, for instance, you coming in. You don't, you don't really have no money on your books yet or nothing. You know, guys offering you cigarettes, they're offering you commissary. You're getting it. You don't have no means of really paying it back. Oh, so that's a trap. Old school. Yeah, that's a trap. They said, you have, you see the old school dudes having drinks and stuff. You say, yo, man, you want to have a drink? Come on in. Uh -oh. You know, you're having a drink. You done fell out. Two, three niggas done fucked you. Now, did they <laughs> Oh, my God. I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. Big Black, answer this question. Did they rape him or did he ask to be fucked? Now, you ask yourself the question. Well, yeah, you asking the right dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say they I mean, asked for, for it. They, they, they made themselves vulnerable, but they didn't really ask to be fucked, though. I mean, they made it. But I'm saying, understand your environment that you're in. Well, Why would you go in someone's cell and drink or smoke marijuana. So let me, so let, me ask thing, you, so let me ask you a question, Grand Chill. So if if I'm with if I'm with a girl, if I'm I'm out, I'm outside now. If I'm with a girl and and she gets and we get drunk and all of that and I have sex with her, did she put herself in that position or did I take advantage of her? Well, in all actuality, if y'all both was drunk and and you and it went further than y'all wanted it to go, then you took advantage of her. Because you know, under normal circumstances, she would have stopped you, and you might have got a kiss, and then she would have went home, and you would have went home. Oh God, I got you. I'm trying to so stay out man. of prison. So in prison, exactly. the point you thing is, do the right thing. <laughs> black hey, take my black home. ass home to my we wife, right? Baby, we love y'all. But don't <laughs> don't take any like free drinks or whatever. That's the important thing. Just keep to yourself. Definitely not. And anything that anybody tries to give you, tell them that you're straight. You know what I mean? Wait for any money that you may have. But even if you ain't got people in society, then you work. They got state jobs, they got trades, they got education, they got everything in prison that you need to survive. You know, you may have to wait a month to get it, but the reality is it's yours once you work for it. So don't take no gifts or you will be getting a gift. And one thing I tell you for real, the best job is the kitchen. Any prison I went to, I always went to the kitchen. That's my trade, you know. I'm an apprentice, you know, I'm an apprentice graduate, so... Any prison I go to, the kitchen is the best place because I always want to eat good. You know, and I sell sandwiches. You know, I used to sell them sausages and eggs early Saturday and Sunday mornings, you know, for a pack of sandwich, you know. Yeah. Boom, hot, fresh out the kitchen. I'd be wrapped down. I used to wrap myself down like I was a mummy and then put my state blues over top of my shit and walk on out. Bam. Damn. Damn. Cool. You was master. You call that jailing. Yeah. So, I'm jailing. I'm doing what I got to do right now. I'm, I'm trying to survive. We're we going... We're going to a commercial break uh, uh, in, a, in a few, in a minute, but tell us what you're doing now real quick. Right now, I'm, 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 I'm basically working with uh, a car funeral home, and we basically work with the medical examiner's office in Newark, and I'm picking up dead bodies, you know, throughout the city and the towns, you know, Newark, uh, which is Essex County and Hudson County wow. and uh, Passaic County. 
Oh, so you got a you got a you got a good job. Yeah, I got a great job, you know. But what I'm seeing, I'm seeing our young youth, you know, Latinos and black being shot and killed in the street, you know. And a lot of those stories you're not seeing on the news. You're not seeing on news. 12, Wait a minute. Seeing it nowhere. Wait a minute, Grant. So you're the guy that comes and takes the dead body? Yeah, I'm. I'm that last guy, right? I'm. I'm. A, I'm a porter, a transporter. I'm. I'm livery. Damn. Damn. I am. I'm livery. So how did that feel? Right. What, what was worse? Here, being... here, this guy, my, my partner next to me, never been to prison, and he don't have no job. You said 10 oh, years yeah. and got a job. Damn. You know, God is good, man. Sometimes it's not. Not, not God ain't good to this nigga. <laughs> but this motherfucker ain't, God, he ain't working. Hey. But do you have nightmares, though? <laughs> what? Do you have nightmares from seeing the dead bodies? Nah, it's not no nightmares. You know, I, I do what I have to do. It's a job. You know, I tag them, bag them, and keep it moving. But man, that's that's freaky though, man. You don't have nightmares at all from that. What was the weirdest? What was no the nightmares. weirdest? What was the weirdest body you picked up? Like you said, oh man, man, I kind of. Well, you know, I picked up one young guy in the streets of Newark. You know, he'd been shot twenty-two times. You know, and you know, there's blood everywhere. You can about imagine. You know, and um, just you know, picking him up, knowing he was young, he was twenty-eight years old. It was just you know, it was a horrible scene. But I, you know, I, I did what I had to do as a job. And people are crying around you like they crying. I mean, exactly. You know, families are crying oh, and screaming. Man. You already know that. The, you know, the yellow tapes out there. The police is out there. The prosecutor office is out there. Everybody, CSI is out there. Everybody, now, the homicide crew is out there. Everybody's out there. Now, this is this is this is just a, a, a theory that I have with this. With that? With the, with that with the, the king of all black, <laughs> with the black on black crime. Yeah. I think it has a lot to do with uh, the black woman. And the reason why I'm saying that is that why are you saying that? Because <laughs> he's like you get mad like motherfucker. <laughs> no, yeah. the reason, no, the reason why I'm saying that is that <clears throat> when black women choose a mate, uh, a, a yeah. person to 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 go out to dinner with or, or, right. or such things like that, mm -hmm. they supposed to look at that person like a husband. See, the problem right. is is that there's no role models. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like. You know, no, I don't get you. There's no. Yeah, what you, I mean, what are you saying? Role models? What far as in the families? What are you saying within the families or within the? The girls, the girls. Okay, okay. The girls are picking these no good guys to have kids with, right? Yeah. So well, that, you know, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes they say, you know, the saying is you can't, you know, judge or ask for who you fall in love for, with. Well, you know? but but what I'm saying is when that kid grows up and the father, she knew the guy wasn't any good, so she had a baby bomb and he left. So that little that little boy is growing up, and it's a cycle. It's a vicious cycle. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't blame everything on the, the white man. I know what what you saying alone by itself. Yeah, without without what, what, what are you saying? Without that father figure. If you go up to any any young uh, most young black kids and ask them, can they tie a necktie? They don't yeah. know how to. My father taught me how to tie a necktie. Like to okay. to tie a necktie. So what yeah, I'm my saying taught me how to how to how to tie a necktie too. But also my mother, you know, she raised six of us. She had to be a mother and a father. You know what I mean? So she taught us a lot of things. She taught me how to cook, how to clean, how to wash clothes, how to sew. So you know, I wouldn't have to depend so much on a woman if I had to survive out in society. She gave me the necessary tools I needed to survive. I hear you. So do you, you want to give out? So, I mean, you know, you want to give out any okay. plugs? Big black, what kind of plugs? What plug are you looking for? Anything, anything <laughs> he's you looking want. For, he's looking for a plug up his... <laughs> yeah, right. Don't think that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think this, this, is the, this is the first black guy I've ever met that wants to go to jail. <laughs> I, bet, I, I, I was an extra on Oz, man. I'm tough. What? We said? Huh? I said, do you know anybody that want to go to jail? Hell, nah, hell, hell. no. Nah, he's just joking he around. He does. But um, unfortunately, we got to go now. Drink, he wants to drink that wine and all that shit with them guys so he can fall out and he can get it. <laughs> so, yo, we're going to wrap up. Yo, we, we'll we be right back with the Black on Black show. Thanks for calling. How, how with 101. This is Black on Black. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to Black on Black, Howard 101. First off, I'd like to let uh, everyone know that if you want to reach me, try to get me a DJ job, you can get to holler at me on uh, YouTube. The Real Big Black on YouTube. And if you if they want to reach you, King, where they reach you? At Ask the King. Ask the King. On Twitter? On Twitter. Hit me up. Holla. Oh, man. Come on. Let's go to my, my man Kyle from Dallas, Texas. What's up, Kyle? What's up? I had a question for you. Now, 
Because you're like, you don't have sex. What do you do when you see a hot chick that you want to talk to? Like, what goes through your brain? Uh, I'll just look at it and say, wow, that's a pretty hot chick. I mean, you don't have no desire to, like, talk to her, to get to know her better. Maybe she could be your wife or something. Yeah. Well, but I have a, I have a, whenever I try to talk to a girl, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. So <laughs> it's like I, I, I mean, what did you say? What What did you say to him? I'm just curious. Hey, how how you doing? Um, uh, you know, what kind of music do you like? You like Star Trek? What I mean, what do they say back? Maybe you're missing the signs. You know? No, they don't. They don't talk. They before, before I even get there, they they start moving away. You know Wait. So you just see somebody, then you just jump into that without asking them their name or anything. Well, you know, I say, how are you doing? Like I said, first of all, how are you doing? What's up? Nice day. No, they don't. Yeah, you, you, you don't have no swagger. I'm not saying I don't have, I, listen, I don't have no swagger, but you don't have no swagger. Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you see a nice looking girl, you say, how you doing? I mean, they don't want to hear that. What do they want to hear? It's, I don't, it, it depends on the situation, but I know they don't want, how you doing? I don't like when people ask me how I'm doing. Like, what could you do if I'm not doing good? Uh, how you doing? That's just like an icebreaker. Uh, that that doesn't break ice. That makes... Uh, so you give me an example of what you would do then. Uh, you, you, you just say, what's up? Like, uh, See, that's the same uh, thing. Uh, what's up? I don't know. It's just like a swag. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, You're not helping me. You, you, just, could, you could grab them a little bit. Like, if what? They Some girl I, I don't mean, even know? No, no. You don't grab them. Like, give them, come here. You just touch them. Like, how you doing, baby? Like, you know, what's up? Damn. You know what I'm saying? And then they they be like, well, what you doing? Don't you be touching me like that? And then you could just say, I'm sorry, but I'm just, you know, you know, that's when you get into, you got them. Yeah, you sound like a molester or some shit, man. I feel like one right now. I'm horny. <laughs> it's the end of the world of all. We got to do something. We got to get some, we want to get some pussy tonight. So Kyle, Kyle. Yeah. I thought you had a question about some music. Oh yeah. Biggie Tupac. What's the question? I mean, Jay-Z. Jay Z is absolute garbage. Yeah. Oh, thank you. No. Well, no, he's not garbage. I mean, here's here's why Biggie was garbage. It, Wait, a minute, who's garbage? York, people in New York try to prop him up because he was from New York, but Tupac was a hundred percent better. No way. I mean, Tup- lyrics was better. Tupac had, had one good flow. song. You cannot. I mean, Biggie sounds like he got a mash, he got a mouth full of fucking mashed potatoes and shit. I was. I, mean, I was. I don't get what's so great about his flow. I was a Biggie fan. I wasn't a Tupac fan. But I'm definitely, definitely a Jay Z fan. I mean, I would go to Jay Z concerts and scream like a bitch. Jay Z is the best I ever did it, so I don't want to hear about no garbage. Can I get a what, 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 what? like that song? I don't, I don't know that one. Can I get a, you know that song? Oh yeah, no, nah, that's a go back. Yeah, can I get a whoop whoop? Yeah, that girl works in uh, Walmart now. <laughs> no, nah, she does. I forgot her name. She works at Walmart. What's her name? I forgot her name too. Yeah. What's your favorite Jay? Oh, you said your favorite song is um, where I, where, where, yeah, I'm where I'm from. It's a great record. Every he, every record he every, I, every record he made, I love. Well, he I think he has four good songs. He had that one. He got ninety nine problems. He says, um, give me oh, up. Go to go to Ken. He wants to talk shit. Ken, what's up, Ken? In Chicago. What up? What up? I, hey, uh, Angry Black, you a fucking fat. Ken. Angry Black's not here. I'm sorry. Uh, you fucked what, up in the brain or something? Big Black. The nigga with the glasses. Big See, you Black. You don't know what you're talking about, man. Big Black. Yeah, nigga, you a fag. Shut up. Yeah, man. you're talking to Angry Black. Man, shut up, man. Shut the fuck up. Hey. Can't hey can't shut the fuck up, man. You you're still talking. Shut up. I'm not going to talk to you a fag. You, who, who gets excited listening to niggas that you know, having sex in the pen? You a fag. Anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead, go ahead, you man. Bust, go ahead. You ever bust nut on the bitch feet before, man? Yeah, I did that. I do that shit all the time. Had you licked the shit off, though? Nah, come on, man. Man, nah. get the shit on video, nigga. What's wrong with I'm you? I'm not into that. Lick the shit off her own feet? Nah. Yeah. Man. Messing with a... Uh, I could I could have sex, full-blown sex with a woman's foot, but I'm not... I'm going to lick out... Lick the come off her feet? Come no, on. not... You, you don't lick the she lick it, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. Were nah, you with a gymnast nah, or some nah. shit? I've never been with a girl that, like, that would like to eat my cum. I, I, I never... Like, I can't... I can't have an orgasm from oral sex from a girl sucking my dick. I can't come like that. Wow. You What's wrong with you? Your wife? I mean, come on now. Dog. Nah, come my on, wife man. tries, man. She be down there. Her neck be hurt when she be down there so long. It just, it just, it just, I can't come like that. <laughs> man, that's, that's weird, fun. man. And she, and she's good. She's good. She's good at what she does. I hear you, but I mean, you, you should try. You know what I like about my wife, seriously? It's not so much what? the sex. It's that 
she's not so independent. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's like a, like, she's needy. Like, she, she needs me. Like, she can't, she's like an Edith Bunker type. You know what I mean? <laughs> she's a good wife. Like, you know, like, she'll be lost without me. That's the type of person. She's not a strong woman. I hate strong women. No, you're supposed to break a bitch down. Yeah, I don't like them strong. I don't like that independent. I'm an independent woman. Well, bitch, you ain't going to be with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I like a bitch that, that go, go do laundry, shut the fuck up, go to work, and you know what I'm saying, and spread and, like a robot. And scream you know? on you? Huh? Bitch. Yeah, I like that. And, and also the type that screams on you when you're talking on the phone? It's a big black. Yeah, I don't like tell this nigga. Please tell this nigga to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, get, man. You know, get turned on by, you know, my, you, you still thinking my homo shit in the pen. Shut up. Yo, yo, nice talking to funny, you, man. man. We're going to go to Steve in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, what's up? What's going on, Blaine? Hey, How listen, you doing? the next show, I got some, uh, uh, air, some, some guys from the Aryan Nation. They're going to well, call me. Like They're going to come up here and explain, you know what I'm saying, why, like, it ain't all about hating black people, hating certain races. They want to preserve their race. I was rapping to the guy who was talking to me the other day. And he made a lot of sense in what he was saying. The next show? But listen. Maybe but the listen. next show. <laughs> you swear he came through with the damn lap dancers from last oh, show. Oh, man, well, it's not my fault. It's Dude, what's the deal, man? Two I had to go. Row. We had three hours of show. You ain't bringing the lap dancers. You don't want a lap dance? You the happiest but, but one. But why do you keep bragging? I'm going to have the lap dancers tonight, bro. We're going to have lap dancers. What happened, you know, bro? I'm going to make this shit happen so fucking bad so, you, so I can see you refuse that shit. I swear to God. I don't even need to refuse it. You ain't never producing anything. Uh, hey, you right. You right. You got me there. You got me until the next time, till they come up here. You got me. Go ahead, baby. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry, Steve. What's okay, up? Okay, let me ask you a question. Yo, Big Black, let me ask you a question. You, you, got, any, like you, got, any, you, you got any furniture in the house? I hear a lot of echo. Well, you know, hey, whatever. It's a new your apartment, new apartment. <laughs> Yo, Big Black, I knew it. Do yeah. you go to McDonald's and eat like dollar menu meals, or do you go to like can of tuna fish and eat a can of tuna fish and beans? Like, what kind of food do you eat? Yeah, well, I eat sa salmon, rice. Well, um, you're, don't say salmon. You ain't black. You ain't black. No, salmon, no, rice, not. back, uh, fried chicken. Yeah, yeah, that's basically right. about what I eat. Rib tips from oh, the so Chinese restaurant. Like Oh, so you eat food from, like, you don't go to the grocery store. You go to, like... No, no, I, I make my own rice. Restaurant. I cook my own rice, and uh, I'll, I'll heat up some I'll can of salmon, or I'll go to the Chinese restaurant and get some rib tips or some fried chicken. Yo, you keep it in your beige, in your beige uh, refrigerator, right? <laughs> That's a beige computer. No, beige computer, white refrigerator. Yo, when they... <laughs> Yo, you, you should see where he lives. It's so many Spanish chicks around where he lives. I don't know. They're all why. over the place. Yo, they they're all, all over the place. They like the roaches. Girls, all the Puerto Rican girls are driving up with their two religious pants on like you got Oh, like God. Oh, my God. Grande culo. Yes, grande culo. Yes, right. yes. And he sits inside like he's a hermit, like a troll. And he's single. Yes, what the hell's wrong with him? Yo, King, let me ask you a question real quick. Go ahead. What album this summer are you bumping when you're driving down the West Side Highway? Are you bumping to Cameron and Vado? Yo, oh, oh my God. You took it to Cameron and Vado. That's, yo, would you tell people how, how hot that shit is right now? All I got to say is, what's up, slime? Oh, yo. Oh. This nigga knows I right did. You know what's happening. What's popping, slime? <laughs> yo, big black, get a notepad. You ain't got no swag. Yo, number four, number four on Cameron and Vado was sick. Cameron and Vado was tight. Sick. Yo, the true religion genes, they gotta go. That's the homo thug. That's homo thug. You gotta get rid of them true religion. Nah, 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 nah. Thank nah, you, thank you. Nah, nah, homo thug. Nah, nah, nah. nah. See, he, he knows your, your deal. I, got, I cut up a pair of my true religion into shorts, nigga. Yeah, See, well, this guy agree with you. He's saying you're a homo thug. You'll see. No, I'm all about I'm all about the king. The king is the man. He knows what's going on. He knows what's popping. The Air Max, he's phone positive out. He knows what's going on. Yo, are you the white? True religion. Uh, yeah, I'm white. I'm, yeah, I'm white. Are you a wigger? <laughs> no, I'm not a wigger. <laughs> he's trying I know to what's going on. I know, what's going on. You know a little too much about what's going on, man. No, because I know what's going on with my polo shit. I know my phone positive shit, my Jordan. 3. There you go. There you go. What are you doing? Best style, some shit? shit. The phone positive. Remember, shit. remember the all black phone posits? Woo! Woo! Yo, this guy's hundred percent wigger, man. Yo, them shits is on the internet. Oh, they on the internet right now for twenty five hundred. 
Yo, King, I texted you last night on Twitter with the uh, the phone positive picture. That's my new phone. Oh yeah, them shits is hot. Yo, oh, yeah. That was with the with the red bottom. Oh, woo. them shits is sick. Right? Dude, nah, sick. Yo, Don't you two get a room, man. I'm sorry. Uh, yo, Black, uh, what, what is your name? Urkel, whatever your name is. Yeah, when you and King get a room, man, you, you could have some real fun together, talking about your phones nah, we together. we got things in common, because you know what? We're living it up. We're in New York City, baby. It's in May. We're All having right. fun. We're living our lives. You're not living up. Yo, nice talking to you, man. My man, my man. Keep up. Keep hope right, alive. on Twitter. I'm going right. to keep it real. No doubt, no doubt. All right, baby. Holla. Holla. He's your baby, man. Wow. You know, let's go to... um. Let's go to Tony in, in Hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. What's up, Tone? What's up? Yo, what you doing Friday? This got to be the corniest show ever on Howard Stern. Oh, yeah, it's a black dude. Fuck. This is it. This is some funny shit. This is a corny-ass show. It's corny or funny? Both. Uh, you, 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 I, I don't understand. Come on, man. We got four, we got four minutes, man. You got to prove your point. You just, you just sound like... I don't like, understand this show. Wait a minute. Hold on, you I, from it? You f- wait. Hold on, hang on, hang on for a second, because I'm more interested than you. It, are you from Atlanta? No, nah, I'm passing through Atlanta. Oh, because you I'm know on what, my way to Miami. You know what they say about Atlanta. You what know they, they say about Atlanta. You know what they say about boys in Atlanta, and you sound just like one of them too. I'm, I'm passing through Atlanta, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but you stopping. You stopping. <laughs> what do they say about boys in Atlanta? Come I, on, I man. Can't, I can't. I don't understand this show. I mean. You 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 going off on this dude, and he he sitting there allowing you to do this. Well, shit. What, what, what could he what could he do? What could he do? What can you do? What can anybody do? On top of this shit, what can y'all, y'all, y'all up here talking about? You get paid? We ain't get paid, motherfucker! You slaves! You work for Howard Stern, you slaves! Yo yo yo! Listen, <laughs> listen. What what could he this do? What ass shit? This is some corny ass shit. I don't understand this. Shit, yo, man. I know you. Hey, listen. Y'all do, y'all do anything to get famous, get your name out. Yo, there. yo, yo, yo. Go, go, go. Yo, go check one of them boys in Atlanta, man. While you passing through. Motherfucker, I'm checking you. <laughs> yo, why are you waiting on hold to call us and tell us that our show sucks? Yeah, why would you, why, why would you wait on hold? Why would you call it? Listen, nigga. You why would, I'm, would you I'm stop yelling? You, stop, stop, stop. Relax, trying to make some sense man, here. Relax, relax. I'm trying to make you interesting. Relax. 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 You're too excited. Relax. Relax. Yo, relax. relax. Why bother being on hold to tell us that we relax. suck? That makes no Just sense, relax. dude. Yo, yo, makes no sense. It makes no yo, sense. Relax. Shouldn't you? Shouldn't you be? You know you have no point. Shouldn't you? It's ten o'clock at night. Shouldn't you be getting some pussy? Nigga, how you know I'm not on my way? Because I know you. Yeah, right. I can tell by your voice, nigga. Yeah, man, you don't make no damn Come on, sense, man. man. Fuck this shit. Off, man. This you punk ass. You punk yeah, ass you, motherfucker. Good night. Good night. See you next show. Next you show. You punk next ass show. motherfucker. Bye. Night. Night. Shut night. the fuck up. Shut the fuck Adios. up, nigga. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Nigga, hold on, nigga, 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 Get that fuck off the phone, you fucker, nigga. All right, all right, he's gone. Bye, bye, bye. We got one last call. Let's go to Alex in Nevada. What's up, Alex? Going, guys. What's up, baby? Hurry up, man. We got one more minute. The last show. I just got some proof of why it's the last show. Because they got YouTube black guys with two hours, and then you got Riley Martin two hours. You know it's the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign of the apocalypse. <laughs> I thought four, you four hours of niggas talking, huh? I thought you had That's something. Right. Be- I thought you had something better than that. Let's go to John uh, for the last call. John, hey, go ahead, John. Hold me up, baby. Hey King. Hey, I got a question. What, what about like a couple months back, few months back? You were on Howard show talking about like your girl likes to give you golden showers, or you like to give her golden showers? No, I don't like, like to give. Get it, how do you get to there? How do you get to to uh, from getting with a girl to to get to that point to to give her a shower? You got. I don't give girl showers. I like to get it on me. I, I call it lemonade. You should try it sometimes. It's real good. Yeah, but how do you get the girl to that point that she's gonna do it? You gotta, you gotta introduce it to her. You gotta introduce it to her. That's all. He's asking how. What's the I'm first step? It. It's up. To, it's in the moment, baby. It's not a. It's not a, a thing that I can read to you or can tell you what to do. You gotta feel the moment, baby. All right. Well, thanks, Kane. This is our, our fifth show. We don't know exactly when we're coming back, but um, it's been we nice talking to you guys. Hit me up on Twitter. Ask the King. Filling in for Scott Farrell. 
Slaves 2 from Ronnie Martin.